Elijah Veritucker was spectacular for the New York Jets in Week 5 against the Atlanta Falcons. The rookie left guard graded out as the highest rated offensive lineman of the week, according to PFF, and he was the number one ranked guard in both the run and the pass game. So let's break down the All-22 together and I'll show you why ABT is trending towards becoming an All-Pro caliber guard. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and honestly I can't wait to show you guys the film here from AVT against the Falcons. We're going to start looking at some of the running game and his mobility and athleticism in space and this first play in the red zone accentuates all of those strengths. So he's lined up at left guard as you're going to see throughout this entire video and here AVT is pulling across the formation. He's the kick out block and he's going to take out Dante Fowler at the defensive end. As we let it roll, just watch the way he gets out of his stance, how easy and fluid it is in space, and then how silly he makes Dante Fowler look. So watching it again from the back view, gets out terrifically, excellent pad level, and just look at the lane he's able to create for Ty Johnson, huge. And this position right here, that doesn't look favorable for a defensive end. This is a grown man doing incredibly athletic things in space. Elijah Veritucker on the move. He was great pulling. He was awesome with his seal blocks. And you're going to see a ton of those throughout the review. On the second play here, short yardage situation for the Jets. What do they need to do? They need to run behind AVT. It's that simple. He is their best offensive lineman and their best offensive lineman in the run game. Again here at left guard, utilized pulling across the formation. And I just want you to watch the way he's able to come across, seal Grady Jarrett to the inside. So Grady Jarrett off the snap is going to be slanting towards the inside. AVT again, explosive out of his stance. Great pad level, but not only that, watch the way he's able to turn the hips, get that right leg around, and then move him down the line of scrimmage, cause displacement, and allow the first down to be found. Watch it one more time at full speed. AVT gets out, and then a great job sealing, getting those hips around. Explosive, easy, great tight hand placement. Elijah Veritucker was just spectacular. This was a failed play for the Jets. But another example of ABT's mobility and just how overwhelming his play strength was against the Falcons. Have a look here. He's going to be running effectively a fake pin pull with a down block. He's getting out in space. Watch the way he levels this linebacker. This is just incredibly overwhelming strength. A great job just pancaking him. Pad level, making sure he hits and sticks in space. He was fantastic in this facet. And look, even though this doesn't show a ton, it's just a play I had to show you. He was so silky smooth in space. This guy is 300 plus pounds. And look what he does out in the move at the second level, just taking out linebackers. Him and Becton are going to be a treat to watch. This time, let's enjoy AVT climbing to the second level. He's on the front side of an outside zone run, and you're going to see that he checks the defensive end, who again is Dante Fowler. So as the yellow lines show, he's going to check the double team with George Fant and then kick out to number 45 at the second level. As it gets rolling here, you see him just make a check on Dante Fowler and then watch the way he's able to get tight hands inside. And not only that, look at the hip positioning and the placement again as he's able to seal and trap him to the inside and just look at the lane he creates. This is all Elijah Veritucker. Great job checking it, creates the lane and then seals to the inside. That's a five yard lane that he created. It almost breaks for a long touchdown, but Elijah Veritaka did everything and more that he could have. He is just incredibly fluid in space. I love the way he's able to move. He's agile, and this was just another example of that. Let's shift to the passing game now, and this matchup that I've circled is exactly why I was so impressed. Elijah Veritaka has been great in the running game, but this leap in the pass pro against a guy like Grady Jarrett was so pleasing. On this occasion, Grady Jarrett tries to defeat his hands with a little two-hand swipe. You'll see it here off the snap. He does a good job. And right now, Grady Jarrett's in a good position. He has outside shoulder. He has the control in this battle at the line of scrimmage. But now watch Elijah Veritaka re-establish his feet. He gets the hands back inside, gets that lower half and the base working, and just works him around the corner, and he's able to keep that pocket plane. One more time. Watch it. Does a great job despite losing a little bit with the hand fight at the line of scrimmage. Get those feet moving. Get those feet moving. Gets that butt across. And that is as good as it gets against the top five interior defensive linemen in the NFL. An area the Jets really have struggled with so far this year up front are with twists and stunts. And this just shows great vision and great growth from Elijah Veritaka. 
On this occasion, you'll see him do a really nice job passing off the defensive tackle, does a good job identifying the looping linebacker, and gets tight hands. Watch the way he's able to then drop the anchor. That's what makes this play so exciting. It's not just the communication. It's not just the vision. It's the ability right now to drop that anchor and just stonewall. Now look, Ty Johnson's man kind of gets bundled into him. In the end, the linebacker pops free a little bit. But as we watch it one last time, this is great from Elijah Vera Tucker. Just seeing those instincts kicking in and then seeing the anchor. It was just spectacular. Another one of many plays that I just had to show you guys. The play action passing game this time and Elijah Vera Tucker, his responsibility is to block the slanting shaded four. That is number 96. He shoots off the ball well, does a great job being aggressive with his hands. And now you can see that he can't quite get that left hand to the inside, but he does have control with the right hand inside the numbers. Again, like I said on the last play, I want you to watch how Elijah Veritaka continues to work his feet to make sure he gets his anchor and his bottom half underneath him, and he just continually pumps those legs through contact, and then he's able to stonewall. Look at the way he stands him up, gets the defensive tackle helpless and upright. This is really special strength, really special ability to just keep the legs moving through contact. They're the things that stood out in pass pro, and it was phenomenal to see that growth from what we saw against the Panthers and New England early in the season. So the last play of the review, I just wrote down, get busy. Despite the inside move you're going to see here from Grady Jarrett, he does an excellent job being so powerful with that right hand. He shoves the head back of Grady Jarrett. He's able to pass him inside to Conor McGovern. And then look at the way he goes looking for work, identifies that the defensive end is going to come inside, and he just bowls him over. This is just spectacular play. It's a great job understanding the protection that he has helped to the inside. Again, powerful right hand, gets underneath the chin, passes him off to Conor McGovern, and then finishes the play. Gives Zach Wilson the time to find Elijah Moore, but he just stepped out of bounds. So guys, Elijah Veritaka, he was simply phenomenal against the Atlanta Falcons, and this is what we expected from the guy who the Jets traded up for. It was a great sign that he improved so drastically in pass pro. He continued to be dominant in the run game. I can't wait to see the development of Elijah Veritaka throughout the remainder of 2021.